Welcome to the Stanford Labyrinth on the grounds of the Windover Contemplative Center in a clearing amidst oak trees. In a time of anxiety and uncertainty, we invite you to walk the labyrinth in person if you are on campus or virtually if you are far away. People will enter the labyrinth sometimes to puzzle out a problem or drink in the freedom that comes from the rhythm of walking or simply stroll away the weights that may make our shoulders sag and our souls struggle. I'm Rabbi Patricia Carlin Newman, the Senior Associate Dean for Religious Life. This labyrinth was envisioned and advocated for by the Reverend Dr. Joanne Sanders. I'm the Reverend Dr. Joanne Sanders, recently retired and turning the page from Stanford in my role as Senior Associate Dean for Religious Life. I'm grateful to provide a few reflections about the labyrinth. I came to appreciate its deep history in that its design is an ancient one discovered on pottery, tablets, and tiles that date as far back as 5,000 years ago. The labyrinth offers one path not a maze, that winds in a circuitous way to the center. There is a single way in and out. The labyrinth's rediscovery at Chartres Cathedral in France in the 11th century, where it was inlaid in the cathedral's stone floor, became a significant factor in its reemergence to contemporary life. For the last 250 plus years, the labyrinth had been forgotten and covered with chairs until a small group of people, led by Reverend Lauren Artress of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, visited Chartres in the early 1990s, removed the chairs, walked the labyrinth slowly and meditatively. The labyrinth outside Windover Contemplative Center is a replica of the 11 circuit medieval labyrinth at Chartres, one that is now found commonly in many places, including places of worship, schools, medical centers and hospitals, retreat centers, parks, prisons, college and university campuses, and even in private backyards all around the country and world.
Walking the labyrinth has become a deeply important centering tool to quiet the mind, recover balance and grounding in life, as well as a pathway to meditation, prayer, insight, self-reflection, and also a profound way to reduce anxiety and stress. It is a non-denominational, non-religious, cross-cultural blueprint for well-being as it integrates the body with the mind and the mind with the spirit. There is no right or wrong way to walk the labyrinth. We bring to it our hopes, our fears, our questions, our longings, our prayers, as its simple circular rhythm offers new self and collective discovery, resolution, meaning, and purpose. Perhaps now more than ever, in such times of uncertainty, civil unrest, fear, a consequential election, and a relentless global pandemic. This beloved and ancient practice of walking the labyrinth can help us discover ourselves, our place in the world, and even renew a sense of discovering one another in our common humanity. It is a critical metaphor to consider that in walking the labyrinth path, we make room for others to walk in their own way, bringing their fullest selves. Let us imagine during this tumultuous and astonishing time that in walking, we soon find one another at the center, in the heart of the labyrinth, where the language of our newfound community as humankind is peace and welcome. We wish for you to find the place that you love, where you feel the love of others and rekindle your own love. May you have an enjoyable, reflective journey. A sacred text says, to the place that I love, there my feet will lead me. We invite you to a place of quiet and contemplation, but rather than stillness, in the labyrinth we find that place through movement.